On this Sign Warehouse text tutorial, we're going to apply the outline effect. And actually, it's exactly that, in effect. So we're not limited to outlining text. We can also apply it to shape objects. And we'll do that in a moment. First, let's select our text and go up here to Effects. And then, Outline. So we now see an outline around our text. And of course, Design Central comes up, detailing the attributes. It defaults to Outline. Well, we can also change that to Inline, which may come in handy during contour cutting. And we also have a contour option. Watch the O or the E when I change it to contour. Now only the perimeter is outlined, whereas the actual outline option included the enclosed portions of those letters. Here we can adjust the width of our outline. And you'll notice that these adjustments are just previewed suggestions until we hit the check mark to execute. Now the outline's width has changed. I can also adjust the width right here. I can click on this edit point and drag the width in or out. Again, the change is not executed until I click the check mark. Back at Design Central, the next field adjusts the offset. Now that's the space between the outline and the text face. Now when you first make these adjustments, it may be hard to recognize the difference between the offset and the width. But when we click the check mark to approve the change, it makes a lot more sense now. The outline's width hasn't changed, but there's now more distance between the text and its outline. You can also add multiple outlines. So you see here that each red outline is a new cut path. When I apply the change, well, it's kind of hard to see. I'll go here to interpolate color and I see a gradient representation of the different outlines. Here you'll choose whether to cut with backing or without it. We can even customize the text's joints and caps to something sharp or blunt. Now these tools will be more responsive with some text than others, but let's look for instance at this E. Watch how I can change this joint to sharp point or to something curved and more blunt. These small changes in the design could really help when cutting or weeding. And as I mentioned earlier, we're not limited to outlining text. We can also add and adjust outlines to our shape objects. So that's the outline effect, a tool worth getting familiar with on your LXI software.